Ways to instill love of Allah in your children. Do your children love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Better yet, ask yourselves this question, do your children know Allah? If not, how do you expect them to love Allah without a good grasp on who he is? After all, to know him is to love him, right? I wrote an Islamic children's book series with the goal of familiarizing our children with Allah. Sabana Wat Alabama the first book highlighted the attribute of Al Wadud, the most loving. I am happy to see how many around the globe I've reached with my message of instilling love of Allah in children Alhamdulillah, but wondering if the message reaching those underneath my own roof? So, I asked my nine-year-old daughter how she feels about Allah because I wanted to see if I had done my job in raising her to love him and love Islam. I love Allah because he gave you to me and he gave me my sisters, my friends, and all the people I love, and coffee, our kitten. He takes really good care of us, and he loves me a lot. So yeah, I really love him, was her answer. Upon hearing this, I let out a sigh of relief, and gave myself a metaphorical pat on the back. There is no one way to inspiring children to love Allah, but here's what will definite help inshallah Allah. Nurture the love of Allah that is already there. We must teach our precious little Muslims about Allah, and His mercy and love that encompasses every aspect of our lives by mentioning the many blessings frequently. You see, His love for us, and our knowledge of Him in all His goodness is in our fitra, natural disposition, but do not rest assured that it will always be here to stay. We must nourish this fighter in our children before the surrounding influences make their mark and corrupt it. Show them and tell them the endless reasons to love Allah. When they hear you constantly about how much you love Allah, they will naturally follow. Nourish the fighter and keep reminding your children that Allah loves them 70 times more than you do and they will naturally follow. Depending on the age and interest of your child, Nourish them and help them understand Allah's love through books and crafting. Help them recognize the many blessings of Allah. Allah says in the Quran. And mention and proclaim the bounty of your Lord. 93 hours 11 minutes. There is a reason for this. When we make it a habit of mentioning Allah's infinite blessings that he bestowed upon us, we will naturally become grateful, and know him to be the bestower of all gifts the one who is merciful and loving enough to endlessly shower us with bounties. For children, these bounties include all their loved ones, their pets, their toys, etc. When you, the parent or caregiver, put in a conscious effort to tie these people and things that make your children happy to Allah, they will instinctively become grateful and the seeds of love in their hearts will grow more each year until they flourish. Follow the sun the way to instill love of Allah in children. The Prophet, peace be upon him, spent the first thirteen years of Islam proclaiming Ta'id and teaching the noble companions about Allah, in all his mercy and loving nature. The laws were revealed later in the Dawah. So let's follow the example of our beloved Rasul, peace be upon him, and instill these values in our children, starting with gratitude to Allah. Gratitude for family. Gratitude for friends, gratitude for the beautiful blue skies above, gratitude for the magnificence of the oceans, gratitude for the soft feeling of grass beneath our feet, the list is endless. With time, gratitude yields love. And once your child experiences the unconditional love of Allah and for Allah, there is no force on earth that is powerful enough to take that feeling away. My Lord enable me to be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents. Quran 46 hours 15 minutes. In what ways do you teach your children to love Allah and Islam? Ikra TV. Lie to the world.